Hey everybody, this is Johnny with Team Legit. Uh, today I've got my uh, Airfield BF109 with the Lemon RX DSMX receiver, and I'm going to throw it up in the air for the first time. I believe I've got everything all dialed in, but uh, we'll check it out right now. So as you can see, I've got the uh, Lemon RX DSMX stabilized receiver right in here, and the satellite mounted right here on the side. Let's get my LiPo in here, and I'm actually going to put my battery just a little bit behind the CG, just to see how it uh, balances with the uh, or how it stabilizes with the Lemon RX. So as you can see, I've got my blind. You hear my motor winding up with the uh, 4S. I've got red and green indicating that the stabilizer is not on. And I've got it set up here to my switch. And as you can see, the stabilizer is now on. And you hear the servos chattering. So let's get my canopy on there. And as you can see, my servos are set up to uh, stabilize the aircraft. Like I said, I believe I've got them all dialed in correctly, but we'll find out right now. I'm going to hand launch it because the grass uh, kind of catches these wheels. Alright, I'm up here on right now, and I don't have the stabilizer on. Let's pull up landing gear. So the stabilizer is not on at this current time. As you can see, I've got a uh, pretty wild ride there. So let's bring it around and get that stabilizer. Stabilizer kicked in. There we go. All right. And there it is. As you see, it locked it in right there. Nice, smooth turns. Let's get it in down here for a low pass. I'm using a little bit of rudder on my turn just to get that nice scale, realistic looking turns. Straight as an arrow, not even touching the sticks. That thing is dialed in there. It's climbing up a little bit. Like I said, I have the battery pointed just a little bit back. But once you get it into level flight, it just keeps moving there with no sticks. Full range receiver. I think I do need to mess with the gains a little bit. But that's locked in there pretty solid. Wow. See how she does a loop with the stabilizer. No problems. Keeps it nice and tight. No drifting. Let's get another low pass here. Look at that. Once she stabilized, I just let go of the sticks. Like I said, that battery's back there a little bit, so it's going to tend to uh, climb up a little bit. And I may need to mess with the gains a little bit, but on an aircraft this size, it's holding it really nice and well. What I'm going to do is use the stabilizers now to go ahead and uh, land. I'm going to land the aircraft with the stabilizers. And again, I might do a no little nose drive coming in just because of the uh, grass being tall. Alright, landing gear is down. Throttle is off. Look at that. That is just amazing how it holds that. That stabilized landing right there. Did drop the tip a little bit at the end, and that's just because of the uh, slower speeds. I could have came in a little bit hotter, but as you see, I'm ending the uh, runway. So here. as you guys can see, I'm the uh, aircraft, the uh, Lemon RX DSMX stabilizer handles really well, keeps this aircraft nice and tight. Uh, I will adjust the gains a little bit more to my liking, but uh, this was stock settings with no adjustments. I just reversed uh, a couple of the movements on the ailerons and the elevators. Um, for more information about this Lemon RX receiver, I'll put a link in the comments below, in the description below. If uh, you guys have any ideas or if you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. And if you guys like seeing these Lemon RX receivers, the DSMX models, uh, make sure you click the like button. I'm Johnny with Team Legit. Thanks for watching.